Hello everyone, this is Vishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In the last three lessons, we learned about right click menu and the 2D window and in the 3D window. So now we will learn the right click menu on the environment. Okay. Uh, here or here, basically here, we already have gone through. You can just right click here and you can see all these, which, which we have gone through in the previous uh, lectures. But what we were doing was that we were just using any polygonal and then right clicking the same thing. Okay. So if you do it in the empty space, you will get the same thing. Now here in the 3D window, if I will right click, I have these front, uh, quarter left, back and with all the numbers. So if I will press two on my keyboard here, uh, from you can see one, two, three, four and all the numbers. So if I will press one, it will give me this view, two, three, four, and five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. So a different sort of, of uh, views it will give, uh, like it will give me. So I just have simulated because I noticed the back of the shirt was not correct. Okay. So I will un uh, press it again. Now here, apart from these, we have custom view. That is whatever you uh, like create. Okay. So you can, make your own custom views. Like suppose I like this, this view. So what I can do, I, I can just save as, uh, like make a current viewport here. Maybe I can use another one and I can save them by pressing this or and I can switch to back and forth to them. So that's, uh, you can do that. And if you don't want, you can, you can delete them by pressing delete. Apart from that, we have here gizmo settings. Uh, I usually use local, but you can use screen and word coordinate. You can increase the size of the uh, like gizmo uh, scale brush or decrease the size of the gizmo uh, scale brush with the uh, square brackets left and right. If you're using any painting or brush tools. Okay. And you can re uh, reduce the gizmo scale as well. Now we have your format 3D background, so you can add a picture in the 3D background, or you can choose a different color if you do. If you don't like the color that we were using, maybe you can use a different color here. Why the color didn't changed? Okay, uh, looks creepy. Cancel. Okay, I like this color better. Now here we have uh, the paste, mirror paste, same thing that we uh, were using before. Uh, camera properties, you can, uh, we can have different sort of cameras here. Basically cameras, uh, we have already, uh, like used our custom view for that purpose. You can use that simulation properties, uh, is for the simulation properties, the grid properties. If you will click on it, so it will show you the grid properties basically. And you can change the grid here. So right now I have the grid which is, uh, which have one centimeter distance. You can increase the distance to two. Okay. So it will change, uh, that, but I will keep it one and like, it, like this one is for the 2d. Sorry. So if I will change it to five, so you can see it's changing the 2d grid, not the 3d one. And this is for the 3d grid. So you can change the 3d arrow key movement, uh, its size. So right now, if I, if you can see the size, what it is right now. Okay. So if I will go to the, uh, grid properties and change that size, it will ch change accordingly. Grid brightness, uh, you can change the grid, uh, brightness of the lines of the axis totally up to you, but I will keep it as it is. That's what it is. Okay. And then we, uh, have the same thing. Zoom extend all simulation properties. We will go in our next class. So I hope you have liked this video and if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. 
Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 